Fear Collective, today we're getting into the scares and subtext of Australia's 2009 film, The Loved Ones. Written and directed by Sean Byrne, The Loved Ones stars Robin McLevy as Lola and Xavier Samuel as Brent. When Lola's prom invitation is rejected by Brent, she enacts a revenge plot wherein Brent is captured and subjected to a twisted homemade prom at Lola's house. Facilitated by her demented father, played by John Brumpton, the two wreak havoc and questionably engage in a romantic entanglement that just adds yet another level of crazy to this very crazy film. Like most horror films hailing from the first decade of the 2000s, The Loved Ones is heavy on the gore and brutality, yet there remains an air of dark comedy that the film handles expertly and sets it above lesser films from this era that, in my opinion, falter by taking themselves a little bit too seriously. And while horror comedy is not necessarily my favorite subgenre, The Loved Ones is sick and twisted in the best ways and is a fun, bloody good time through the very last shot. The Loved Ones is very much a movie of its era. As I mentioned, the blood is gratuitous, but where excessive gore doesn't really bother me, the infamous male gaze that dominated horror films from the early 2000s certainly feels outdated here. There's multiple sex scenes between high school characters that predominantly feature female nudity, and I just don't understand why. I mean, I understand why, but viewing these films through a 2021 lens, such nudity feels not only unnecessary, but also creepy, considering these characters are supposed to be underage. The film also requires serious suspension of disbelief as the characters experience extreme violence and somehow muster strength and stamina to fight through it in a way that feels really unrealistic. And I almost wonder if the film would be more sensical if either the characters didn't experience such violence or they were written to be more realistically impacted by it. If you can look past those shortcomings, though, The Loved Ones does offer some really incredible moments, and I enjoyed myself for most of the film. The scary sequence involves a reveal that I won't spoil in this video, but it's a very dark turn that hits you like a gut punch because everything up to that point feels cartoonishly twisted in keeping with the dark comedic tone of the movie. The subtext that I read from this film centers on themes of pain and guilt as demonstrated through Brent's grieving over the loss of his father who was killed in a car accident where he was the driver. Brent turns to marijuana and cutting and becomes suicidal. At his rock bottom, Brent experiences a brush with death that ultimately changes his mind, which influences his will to live when fighting for his life against Lola and her father. The idea that someone can long for death from a safe vantage point and then change their mind when actually confronted with death reminds me of those stories you hear of suicide victims who jump to their death only to immediately regret it as soon as they jump. In that respect, the film serves as an anti-suicide commentary that posits, regardless of the pain that you're confronted with, you can fight your way through it. I'm going to rate my enjoyment of The Loved Ones at an 8 out of 10. This would have been a home run for me if not for the unnecessary nudity, but that's mostly over by the first act, and the rest of the film is a confident and energetic good time. Thanks for joining me, guys. The Collective is now closed.